Nearpod allows you to create lessons with multiple activities and as much content as you'd like. However, you can also create and launch individual activities or games. One such activity is the Time to Climb activity. Time to Climb is a gamified multiple choice game that allows students to compete and race up a hill. To create a Time to Climb activity, click on the Create drop down menu. From here, you can create a lesson, video, activity, or build off a Google Slide Deck. Click on the Activity button to access the Time to Climb activity. Choose the Time to Climb option from the Quick Start Activities. These four activities are a sampling of Nearpod's most gamified and engaging options. Once the Time to Climb edit menu loads, you have the option to add your own multiple choice questions or look at pre-made examples. You can scroll through the library of pre-made questions or type in keywords to find a set of questions that already matches your lesson. These pre-made sets often include a fair amount of production value, backgrounds, and images. Whether you click add question to create your own or edit a pre-made question, you just need to click on the large question box at the top. You can type or paste text and edit any questions as you go. Nearpod even has a built-in equation editor if your questions are mathematical. This way you don't have to copy and paste your equations from a third-party app. You can change answer type between text and image answers. Nearpod will always ask you to confirm that you are making this change before it's finalized. To add an image as an answer, set the answer type to images and click on the image icon in each answers field. If you add an image, you can upload a photo or pull it from cloud storage like Google Drive and Dropbox. Or you can search Google Images directly in the upload menu pop-up. Use keywords to find the right images that matches your question's answer. Click on the image that you'd like to use and click save. Keep repeating this process and clicking the add answer button until all of your answers have been added. Once all of your answers have been added, click on the correct answer to tell Nearpod which answer is correct. So this will allow the program to grade answers automatically as students compete. The answers can be images, but the question itself can also have an image for reference. If you click on the Add Reference Image button next to the question, an image upload menu will pop up. Just like the other image prompts in Nearpod, you can upload images from your computer, cloud storage, or search for an extra level of challenge and gamification. You can also duplicate or copy a question if you like the formatting and want to repeat it. You can even delete a question completely. If you click on the delete button, you'll be asked to confirm whether or not you wanted to delete the slot. Once all of your questions are created and edited, click on the save button to save your set of questions. From here, you can go back to your activity, add more content, or click settings. In the settings menu, you can name the lesson, type out a description of the lesson, including keywords or tags, Add a grade or subject to make the lesson easier to search as well. You can also turn the slide transitions on and off from here. Once you've edited your settings, click on the Submit button. Once your activity and lesson are completed, click on the Save and Exit button to finalize all of your changes. You can now share your interactive lesson from the lesson library. If you click on live participation, you'll be able to control the pace of the activity when things start, when they end. If you click on student pace, students are in control of the activity. Once you launch the activity as live participation or student pace, Nearpod will share a code on the screen to allow students to join the activity. There are also options here for sharing the link through Google Classroom or email. Within Nearpod, you can always preview a lesson from the student's point of view by clicking on the Preview button. From the preview, you can play along with the questions that you wrote or borrowed. The only thing that will not display here is the animated race sequence that shows students their standing in the game. You can also launch the activity directly from the preview screen by clicking on Live Participation or Student Pace. The code will pop up on the screen for students to join. Once you close the pop-up code, Nearpod will open the final Time to Climb settings before every lesson. From here, you can choose to turn the music off on student devices. Otherwise, you'll have a sea of obnoxious MIDI music. 
Allowing a pause between questions gives you and your class the opportunity to discuss and learn from their mistakes. This gives students a chance as well to edit their notes and add newly corrected information to any resource they have in your class. Randomizing the order of the questions makes it easier to reuse the same activity multiple times, as now the answers become less predictable for students. Nearpod offers more and more themes to fit your game. This allows you to match your game to the theme of your lesson or unit. Once you've completed all of your changes, click on the Continue button to save everything. This will also launch the interactive game for students to play. Good luck and have fun!